Hey, Martin here. Today we're excited to announce Remnote 1.18 with a ton of new features. We've added a new YouTube annotator, interactive tutor for remembering what you learn, one-click flashcard generation for PDFs and web pages, PDF summaries, chat with PDF YouTube PowerPoint, Ask AI for quickly editing or transforming your writing, voice text typing, and even more. Let's jump right into it. First, we built a new learning experience for YouTube, PDF, PowerPoint, web pages, really any kind of content that lets you quickly read or view the content, make summaries, AI flashcards, quizzes, chat with it, and more. You can enable this by going to create and then uploading whatever content you have. Here, I already had a YouTube link copied to my clipboard, so I'll add that, and we can see that it immediately opens up here. On the left, we have our content, in this case, a YouTube video, and on the right, we have a variety of our options. You can start by reading through the automatically generated summary, which goes through and organizes your content into a set of automatic sections and then provides a high level summary for each key point. For each key point, you can see that it's cited to the exact timestamp and sentence in the video or PDF, and you can also immediately generate cards from it in a single click. If you want to drill down into and expand any point, you can simply toggle it open to see all the content that's summarized from that part of the video. After reading the summary, you can then jump into the main learning experience. For the YouTube viewer, as you watch, the video will automatically pause after each section to test you on what you learned. If we jump to the end of this section here, we can see that in just a few seconds, the video will automatically pause and then show me some questions. These questions are designed to keep you in flow, the video is still right there, but to also help you engage with active learning right with the video. You can answer the questions in any order and the tutor will help you if you get them right or wrong or if you're confused. For example, we can start with number four here and say that it's one proton, which is on the right track, but not quite right. So the tutor told me that I got it wrong and then immediately helped me clarify my understanding by teaching me the core idea that is one twelfth of the mass of the carbon-12 atom. You can see that key points of the video are also cited here, so I can jump back to that point if I want to rewatch it. You can then continue on to the next question or write your own follow-up questions to improve your understanding. For example, I can ask it what a carbon-12 atom is and I'll immediately get a response that I can drill down into further or just continue on with. While watching your video, you can also highlight key moments that you want to remember. Just hover over the highlight moment button here and if you want to highlight this key sentence, then just click it. The highlight will automatically be saved to the highlights panel on your right and copied to your clipboard. You can either just leave the highlight here or you can go to the editor and start writing your own notes. You can paste in your highlight by pressing Command V on your keyboard and then write your own notes around it. For example, you could put this on the back or front of a flashcard. You can also generate flashcards in a single click from the highlight moment button. Here you can see that a few different kinds of flashcards are provided. I like this first one best here, so if I click it, it will immediately be added to my editor, where I then can make any further adjustments or just immediately begin practicing it. You'll also notice that a highlight in the form of a pin is automatically made to this portion of the video so that I can go back to there later when practicing the card. Once you're done the video, you can then go to the practice tab where you can either practice the cards you already created or generate new cards. You can make cards for your entire video in one click. You'll see the cards as they're being written, and then you can select which ones you want to keep or change. You can also adjust the kind of cards, the language, the amount, or write any fine-tuned adjustment that you would like. They'll be added to your editor for any further edits, or you can immediately jump into practicing them. These cards are just normal Remno flashcards, so you can ask the AI chat about the contents of your current card, or you can have the AI grader grade your typed-in answer. You can also generate a quiz from either the entire video or a specific portion of it. For the generated quiz, you can either answer it directly, get a hint by highlighting key information, or just put in your answer and then immediately get graded with feedback on the right answer. All of these learning features don't only work for YouTube videos. They also work for PDFs, PowerPoints, web pages, and really any kind of source. From your sidebar, you can again upload your source, or you can go into an individual folder. For example, we can make one for my machine learning class and then upload your source directly to there. We can see for this PDF that I just added, I immediately have a full summary, as well as the same features of my AI tutor, highlights, practice quiz, and more. PDFs also have a new key points feature that summarizes the three most important points at the bottom of every page. As you're reading, you can click on any sentence that you want to remember, and you'll automatically see generated flashcards for that sentence. Here, I can again select the one that I like the most. I think I'll pick the first one, and it will immediately be added to my editor here. These are organized into sections based on where you are in your PDF. So if I add another, such as this one here, 
then you can see it'll be organized into my existing node hierarchy. You can also make flashcards in one click directly from the key points, just by clicking on any sentence or the purple button here. And again, they'll be added right to your editor. If you want to bulk create cards, you can do so from this purple Create AI Cards button at the top, where you can do it for the current section, specific page, or the entire PDF document. As you read through the summary, you can also create flashcards directly there, or you can directly jump to the corresponding section for any section of your summary or any individual point. If you like to write your own flashcards, then the flashcard answers will also automatically pull context from the PDF. If I write out my own question here for when did Deep Blue beat Kasparov, and then use the normal Remnote shortcut where I type the double equals key once and then twice to make a flashcard, we can see that it will automatically pull in an answer from my PDF, as well as automatically make a highlight and reference to that key piece of information. When practicing, these citations will show up on the back of your card in the key insights section. If I scroll down, you can see it directly here. And if I click on it, it'll bring me back to that corresponding place in the PDF. If there's some more specific idea that you want to understand, you can just drag to select it instead of clicking it to select the whole sentence. Here, if I drag to select alpha beta pruning, we can see that the cards are focused on the part of the sentence that I selected. And I can click the explain button here to immediately explain whatever term I've selected. If you highlight any term or any part of your PDF, you can then also, as normal, still adjust the color of your highlights, add notes to it, and all the existing features of the prior Remnote PDF viewing and reading experience. If I go and ask the AI tutor a question, such as when did Deep Blue beat Kasparov again, you can see that it's using the full PDF source as the source here. So it will search the PDF, find that answer, and cite it to me in its response. In this case, over here on page eight. Next, we've added a new Ask AI feature, which lets you easily transform and edit your written notes. Here, I have some rough notes that are full of typos and various things that could be improved. Maybe I took these during lecture, and now I want it to automatically be cleaned up. I can now just go to Ask AI and click Turn into Outline, and we can see that I immediately get a much tidier version of my document. Here, maybe I also want some of these to be capitalized, so I can simply ask it by just writing here to capitalize the first word and clean it up further. And we can see that we get an in-place edit of, in this case, just the first word of each sentence. You can use this however you want, and you can ask it anything. For example, I could ask it to go create flashcards for me, and maybe I want it to be focused on ATP here. So if I just write that and press send, we can see that the AI flashcards automatically opens here, and it begins writing them for me. Or if we go back, we could translate this to some other language, if you are learning uh, in one language, but write one your notes in another, then you can see that they're all edited directly here. And again, you can ask it to do whatever you need. Any custom instructions that you type in are automatically saved, and you can pin them or save them as your own sort of prompt stored directly in a Remnote document that you can edit and customize. You can also now generate multiple choice quizzes for any text. Just drag to select your cards, press Create AI Cards, change the format to multiple choice quiz, and you can see that a set of multiple choice questions are automatically written for you. We've also added voice typing directly in the editor. In the editor, just use the slash key to open up the command bar here, and then type in voice and enable it. You can see that anything that you say automatically begins to be transcribed. This is really useful both for brainstorming or if you're trying to transcribe some lecture or some other thoughts in class. Whenever you pause for just a second, you can see that we automatically bring you down into new lines and automatically clean up and fix any transcription errors, organize it into sentences, and more. If I just pause here, then we can see that it's automatically edited, and then I can just keep on speaking, brainstorming, without really having to think about the editor state here. This update also contains hundreds of other bug fixes, smaller polish, and improvements to our 1.17 features and throughout the entire app. Thanks to our alpha testers for your feedback, as always, and are really excited to see how you use all these new learning features and thinking features. Happy learning.